Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. I'm super excited for this video because today I'm going to be trying out some of the new Rare Beauty products. If you want to see my first impression on this products, just keep on watching. And if you're new here to my channel, hello, my name is Paulina. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would deeply appreciate it if you would hit that red button below. And let's get started with this review. I'm really excited to film this video. I'm really excited for these products and hopefully these products do work for my skin. And just to let you know what type of skin I have, I am more a combination. I do have a little bit of dryness going on, but also I am oily. So I'm definitely more combination, but also too, if it's really hot outside, my skin tends to be a little bit more oily. If it's dry, if it's um, cold outside, my skin tends to be a little bit of dry, but usually I'm combination and I do have acne. As you can see, I do have an acne prone skin. I only picked up the foundation, concealer, and the primer, and a lipstick, a lip balm. I really wanted to buy more stuff, but it does get expensive. I did pick up the illuminating primer. I did bought the mini size one and it does cost $14 for the mini and $26 for the large. And this primer is a weightless silicone free gel primer enriched with ultra fine pearls for a little a lit from within glow. It comes in a little pump and okay. So it looks like this, I'm gonna go with two pumps. It doesn't smell bad. It does have like a pink hue to it. Okay, it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so I'm gonna wear the primer on one side of my face because I wanna see if the primer and foundation do have an effect within each other or do you, or you could just buy the foundation without buying the primer. So I'm just gonna use the primer on this side of my face. Uh, but I'm gonna use the primer on this side. So the primer is like a radiant primer. You can definitely see like my skin looks a little bit more glowy compared to this side. I do have to say the consistency of this primer does remind me of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, like the coconut water one. It reminds me of that consistency. It doesn't feel tacky at all. So this is the side with the primer and no primer. So definitely I do have a little glow going on. And I also picked up the Rare Beauty Foundation. The foundation does retail for $29 and they do have 47 shades. I did pick up mine in shade 270N, but I think this foundation is a little bit dark. A little bit dark for me, but I also picked up the concealer in the shade 270N. So I picked up the foundation and concealer, the same shade, but definitely the shades do not match up. If you get the 270N in concealer, and then 270N in foundation, they're totally different shades. So they're both 270N, but you can see the foundation is way darker than the concealer. I, and I bought mine online on Sephora.com, so I wasn't sure what shades to go with, but definitely the concealer does match me better than the foundation. Uh, but yeah, so be careful when you're ordering the foundation or concealer. The shade range is not gonna be the same between the foundation and concealer. Like I said, the foundation does retail for $29 and they do have 47 shades and it's a very liquidy foundation and the packaging, super beautiful, but it's very liquidy. And then also, so it's a very liquidy foundation and it does have a Dofa applicator. It does remind me of the Tarte Shape Tape application, uh, but it looks like this. And this foundation is described as a weightless foundation and it's also a medium to full coverage foundation. So I'm gonna apply it right here. Yeah, definitely you can see it's a little bit darker, but we'll make it work. So I'm gonna apply this amount and it does feel very liquidy and it's supposed to give you like a natural finish to it. So I'm gonna start little by little. I'm gonna be going in with this IT brush and number 132 to blend my foundation out. Okay. Yeah, so definitely it's a little bit darker, but we'll make it work. Ooh, it does blend out very easily and it's very watery. The foundation does have a smell, but it's not a bad smell to it. And it's blending out very beautiful. Okay, I think once I blend the foundation, kind of toned down a little bit. It isn't, hmm. Oh, I really like how it looks on this side. So again, this is a side with the primer, with the illuminating primer, and this side has no primer. So let's see if there's any difference. I'm gonna apply a little bit more on this side. I do have to say the packaging is cute and 
The package is really cute, but the thing is, it's a little bit of a messy situation. Definitely, once I open it up, everything got covered in foundation, so it's a little bit of a messy, a little bit of a messy situation, so just be careful. I'm going to add two more. And it doesn't feel heavy on the skin so far. It feels very lightweight. And I really like how it looks, although it's a little bit dark, but I really like how it looks on the skin. So this is how my face is looking with a foundation and I have to say like I really like the coverage. It doesn't give me full coverage yet. It claims it's a medium to full coverage but for me it's more like a light to medium. You can still see some of my dark spots, some of my acne coming through but it did give me like a kind of an even base and it feels very lightweight on the skin. And I have to say I really like it with the illuminating primer. It does look a little bit more glowy. And I didn't apply any moisturizer or anything, so on this side is just the primer and the foundation, and this side is just the foundation. It can you could definitely tell like this side looks a little bit more glowy, more healthy, and this side looks a little bit more dry. I'm gonna apply a little bit more to build it up to see if I can get like a full coverage. Okay, yeah. So if you really want to build it up, you could definitely build it up and it gives you like a little bit more full coverage. Yeah, I definitely have to say I really like it so far. I like the coverage of it. I like that you're able to build it up a little bit by little. And definitely here it did cover a little bit more when I apply more. But it's not looking bad. But I definitely have to say I really like the side with the primer. It looks a little bit more glowy more awake compared to this side looks more dual so now i'm gonna go with the concealer and the concealer does retail for 19 dollars and they do have 47 shades and the packaging is exactly the same as the foundation it's just a mini me version and it also comes with a little dofa applicator as well so i'm gonna apply it right here And it says that this concealer, it's a medium to full coverage and it, it's a concealer that's not going to cake up. So we'll, we shall see. I'm going to add a little bit more concealer. Okay, so this is how the face is looking with the foundation, with the primer, with the foundation, with the concealer. And I have to say, it's looking really good. I really like how my skin is looking. I look very glowy. It looks very natural. It doesn't look cakey. Definitely this foundation is more radiant, so it's definitely not a matte foundation. I really like how my skin is looking. It looks very glowy, especially with that primer. Like this side looks very glowy very poppin and this one looks a little bit more dry a little bit more dual but it doesn't look bad this is a close-up of the foundation definitely the foundation is sitting on my skin very well and i do have huge pores but it doesn't look like it's going into my pores yeah, it doesn't look like it's going in, on, into my pores. Even on my dry patches where I have it here, it's not clinging into those dry patches. It looks very natural, although the shade is a little bit too dark for me, but it doesn't look bad. So I'm going to go finish my face and I'll be right back. We're going to check in and see how the foundation is doing because I definitely want to try out the Rare Beauty Lip Balm. So let me go finish my face and I'll be right back. So I finished my face makeup and the only thing left is to try the lip balm by Rare Beauty, which I'm really excited for. Uh, but so far, the foundation and concealer, I really like how it looks on my skin. I honestly have to say, I really like the side with the primer. My skin looks a little bit more glowy compared to this side, it looks a little bit more dual. And I really like how with the primer, just my face looks a little bit better. But again, the primer does remind me a lot of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer, uh, but I really like the primer. So this is how the lip balm looks. It does come in a packaging like this. The only thing I don't like is that the when you close it, it doesn't snap. So it does tend to be a little bit loose. So if you do put it in your purse, it might come off, but it doesn't click. 
It retails for $16 and I got mine in the shade Thankful. Really pretty shade. So let's try this. And it's like a mauve which I'm really excited for. Ooh, it does have pigment. Mmm. And it tastes good too. Mmm. I really like that shade. It's really pretty. I really like the lip balm. It's really pretty. Ooh. I really wanted to get the liquid lipsticks, but definitely I'm more into lip balms nowadays. I do like lip liquid lipsticks, but nowadays I really like a lip balm to hydrate my lips. And definitely I really like this one because you get that lip balm, but it's very glossy and it does have pigment. So it's more like a lipstick instead of being like a lip balm in my personal opinion, but I really like how it looks. I do have to say I really enjoy the Rare Beauty products. I really enjoy the Illuminating Primer. I really like how it looks on my face. It does feel very hydrating and it looks really good compared to the side where I don't have the primer. This side looks a little bit more dual and this one looks more awake, looks more brightening. But when it comes to the foundation, I do have to say I really like how it applies on my skin. It's very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't kick on my skin. It doesn't set in my pores. It doesn't set on my dry spots. Or it doesn't look bad on my skin. The only thing I have to say is that the packaging, when you open it up, it does tend to be a little bit messy around. That's the only thing that's very messy because it's very liquidy. But I really like how it applies. It blends very well. It does dry a little bit down. Um, it does give me, I feel like it gives me more like a light to medium coverage. It does say it's a medium to full, but I feel like it's more like a light to medium. And I really like how natural it looks. Although it does, the shade that I got does look a little bit more darker on me, but I really like how it looks on my skin and everything blended out very good. And overall, I really like how it looks on the skin. When it comes to the concealer, I do have to say I really like the concealer. It's very lightweight. It doesn't cake up. It does look really good under my eye. It does give me like a nice glowy effect without being too much. But I do have to say that comparing both of them, the shade, my, it's a little bit off. They're both 270N but the foundation is a little bit more darker compared to the concealer. That's the only thing, I don't know if it, other shade ranges are like that, but so far the 270N, the foundation does look a little bit darker compared to the concealer, but I really like the concealer. I really like how for an everyday natural look, it doesn't look very cakey, doesn't feel heavy, it's very lightweight. The foundation and concealer, they're very lightweight products, and I think if you're into that lightweight foundation, you're gonna enjoy these products. They're really good, I really like how it looks. When it comes to the lip balm, I have to say I really like the lip balm. It, does have, it doesn't have no scent, and it feels very good on the lips. And it's very hydrating and the shade, it's really pretty. And again, the shade that I got is the shade Thankful. So, so far I really enjoy these products. I really like how they work on my skin. It does give me a very glowy, natural look and I really like it so far. So definitely, definitely check out the description box where I will leave my final thoughts on these products because I'm gonna be wearing it throughout the day. So I wanna let you guys know if it's actually like really good throughout the day. But so far I really like the products. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful in you deciding whether or not you wanna purchase these items. And thank you again for watching. And if you're new here to my channel, I would deeply appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much and I'll see you in my next video.